bringing them to you so that you can educate them on this. See, they were nice guys. Mm -hmm. That's the Very problem nice with guys. politics. Politics turns nice guys into coercive guys. I knew for a fact those dudes take off their uniform, and I, I forget to say that. Robert always got to remind me that. He's like, hey, let's, let's take, he, he says, I forgot to say this. Let's take let's take a break, man. Let's take a ten minute break, real fast. All right. Let's stop being a cop for a minute. Like let's just talk as neighbors. You see what I'm saying? It's like, can we please just talk as neighbors? Talk as neighbors and humans on the land. Be brothers and sisters and just love each other. Seriously, that's the next step. Yes. So we got kings and queens, brothers and sisters. That used to sound really like sons and daughters. That used to sound really um. Mm -hmm stupid to me but it makes sense but we're the human family isn't that so cool mm -hmm. you get to choose where you want to live yeah. pick heaven guys pick heaven right yes they're creating hell for me right now and for themselves for themselves too they don't want to do this they don't like if other if when they stop them oh you're sticker oh you got a broken you know what we i think we're gonna start doing you know i talked about the peace protection team for a while Mm. And I'm, I'm going to borrow kind of what uh, Dale Brown's you know, philosophy is in some ways, which is to prevent threats from happening. <sighs> that poor guy. You see, you see, man see. he's like, he <laughs> should not be wearing those. Oh, man. I know. Take off the oxygen inhibitors. <sighs> Breathe. How long has this stop? It's been like 30 minutes now, huh? Shit. I hope I can go get my clothes. Oh, I forgot to talk about thick red line. Mm, you could leave them with that. Oh, two cards. Oh, one for both of them. <laughs> they were so nice. Okay, Howard, we're helping you, buddy. You're helping us, we're helping you, yes, buddy. Yes, thank you for what you do, Howard. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. These ideas are catching on. And all we gotta do is help these cops realize they're part of human family too. They're not dehumanized. Hey guys, check out the thick red line. Dot org or dot com. What does it say there? I don't know. I'm just getting here. So some oh, of you, you guys who don't know about the thick red line. It oh. might. Yeah, I'll just put it that way. Oh. Yeah, talk thick about red th line is a is a pro uh, project where your local law enforcement, most probably the sheriff first to organize amongst themselves and say, you know what, we're not going to let politicians write words on pieces of paper and call it law or code and make us enforce it against our neighbors. So you're allowed to use discretion in your life and you never have to use force against any peaceful people ever. You never do it, even if they're paying you. And you're, if your manager gets mad at you for, for disobeying an order like that, then you can tell him to go fuck himself. You know, because who are you? Are you his slave? You have to hurt people to make a living? No, you don't. If your job, career makes you hurt people, well, you should quit. Come on, man. Don't hurt people. Unless you're like a boxer, you know, and then you got to hurt people. But then... The thick the, red line is a great option, though. You're getting off track. The thick red line is a wonderful you option. You want to talk about it? No. I don't. Come you're, on. You're so good at it. Okay. Yeah, I want them about, to hear, hear about it. Hear you have an audience. Hear a voice. <laughs> Come on, let's hear the voice of the woman. Thick red line. And then what you do is they, the thick red line is you say no. It's a line in the sand. I'm not going to enforce uh, immoral laws. And so what's a moral law? Moral law protects life and uh, liberty. Property. So rape, murder, theft. Yes, these are bad. These are crimes. Yes, let's have the constitutionalists do that. These guys might be thinking over their um, internet strategy right now. They might not want to go viral, man. Because they were nice, but they're still going to use extortion. And this is going to be a prime example of a video. It's going to say, good cop, good guy, good cops still extort peaceful guy. Good cops still a squirt peaceful guy. Something like it's that. It's okay. They're learning, though. This is a process for them. Jeez, man. They're learning. 35 minutes at least now. Because, uh, yeah. let's see. Well, you're charging them for, for the minute, right? 
No, I charged him for the documents. Oh. Hey, and the, and the guy said oh, he would give me a, he would give me a reference okay. number, right? Yeah, I said it to him twice. Hey, that's a verbal contract, man. I asked him. I asked him if he came at me on business, at law, or to do harm. And he said not to do harm. So guess what? I, I tried to stop saying that. Now it's on business or at law. What lawful cause have you stopped me? And why do they have four cops for one stop? Well, because they don't, unfortunately, they don't actually go stop real crime. They show up and they have to gen re generate revenue. This ticket, they, here's what they could give me a ticket for. They can give me a ticket with drive with no license, driving on a suspended license, expired registration. That's what they could write me up on. Well, we're going to see what good cops look like. I'm going to keep this thing rolling because it's like uh, going on for a long time. Should we start from the Is the 700 Ray Street still your current address? Yeah. Just too big. I'll put another one. Two? Yeah. Four guys, two cops? Look at that guy. Even if just one They're gets like it, then they'll share. Huh? Even if just one gets it, he'll talk about it within the, you know? Nothing wrong. So you don't think so? No, these guys are cowards. They're trained to be cowards. They're not born that way. It's the school system that does it to them. She literally told me to go change the legislation. Go talk to the politicians. Yeah, I'm gonna solve this problem by talking to the politicians, man. See, the world isn't a good world because we're not talking to the politicians, man. The politicians are the solutions. No, it's average, ordinary people like you and I who have the solutions, man. We have a right to use this uh, discretion, peace in our life. Uniforms and badges don't give you extra rights. We're all equal, do you understand? You're king, you're queen, so am I, agree. Okay, so if we're going to get into business together, let's get into business. But don't force me, like these guys, you know. And so everybody who's seeing the cops right now is afraid. You know, it's like, shit, I don't want to get pulled over next. They're going to come get me next? Yes, they're going to get everybody next. It's called a police state. Unless we all speak up. Continually. So I was thinking about putting my plates back on, but... They're I, coming in the mail. I know, well, I'm, I'm talking about, like, getting back in the system. This is such a headache. Such a headache this is. And now i got to go to court again, you know? So, now I understand some of the OGs are like, man, you don't waste your time on that. Because now I'm going to court for such frivolous stuff. For vehicle codes and obstructing of justice. Last time I was obstructing justice, I was sitting right here. I was on the phone like this. I was on the phone with Dr. Andy Kaufman, and we were talking about a conference in Philadelphia. And the cop comes and then talks to me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting down, not even driving, traveling. He comes up and talks to me. And I'm like, um, I have a very hey, important hey, call right now. Yes. How's it going? Hey, man. Um, so I'll explain this to you real quick. So with the plate, um, just make sure that you put a plate on your on the back of your car because if you don't you're going to keep getting stopped right it's not really worth worth the stress right um, all the stress you're going through right now if you just have a plate on there then you won't be uh, getting stopped as much as you guys mentioned you were right yeah. the plates are coming in the mail okay yeah so once you get those if you the can, plates are coming in the mail sure once you get those if you can just throw that on the back yeah then you won't be getting stopped as much as you are and it's not have you heard, stress, heard about right? the red line mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. what I got here is I got your verbal notice um, mm -hmm. 
that your driver's license is suspended. Mm -hmm. um, so it really is. If you could uh, just go ahead and sign right here, mm -hmm. and then I'll give you, you a don't copy. Want to take it? I'll give you a pink copy. I know there's and a bunch of good cops up there, and, and um, you know the that this is wrong. Okay? Mm -hmm. like so, no so what's going to happen here? Not a plate. Um, so this is just your verbal notice that your driver's license is suspended. Yeah. You mentioned to us that you didn't know. Look him yeah. up. Um, so, I'm telling you. So this is going to save your life and your family's life. Okay. My sister's a cop. It, man. Thanks, man. No you don't have to do this, right? Be safe out there. Take it, please. And I'll give you that pink copy on the bottom. You look it up online. Oh, okay, fine. And share oh. it. Thank you, sir. That's share. Right. Here, here, give them that one too. Young guys, they, give can, them that they one. can't take nothing. They give can't. They this can't. is Supreme Court, man. This is I, Supreme I Court. Showed it to the them. reason I have no plates is it's constitutionally protected. You gotta know about this, man. Okay, hey, yeah, David. I have it on my camera. I saw the case file. I'll take a look at those. Yeah. So I'll get you the There's like 20 Supreme Court cases on right to travel. Okay. They're using you, you the guys to break right the law. Right and, yeah. and like I, like I told people. you, the place that can test this, if you would like, is it And they're making okay. a fucking circus right. out of it. There you go. By, Thanks, man. By okay. publicizing hey. all the... I appreciate you guys being nice guys. No, 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 all right? Be safe hey, man, there, much man. love to you guys, man. Yeah, okay? Safe. Appreciate you, man. Thanks, man. Have a great day. He's so young. Okay, so here's just what happened. Pretty positive, actually. I don't know. Yeah. He wouldn't take it, huh? He wouldn't take it, but I know he's gonna look it up. Yeah. He's so young, man. Mm -mm. Fucking training these kids like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's probably 22. I just felt that he was young enough to be my kid. I was like, wow, you're so young. So, I'm actually feeling very emotional, too, right now, because... You know what they gave me? They gave me a verbal notice. Wow, they are good cops. No ticket. No fix-it ticket. No nothing about not driving. Thank well, you. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Did he take the card? Huh? Did he take the thick red line card? I, st I, I, I put attach it to his pen. Oh. Attach it to his pen. That was smart. You know what? I think we helped those guys. I think that's why I got emotional. Yeah, I felt like we connected those guys too. Because I showed them that paper. I left it hanging out.